South Africa's GNU triggers wave of investment. The end of crippling power outages and the decision to allow private companies to participate in electricity, freight rail and ports have given South Africa a real chance to reignite its economic growth. This change comes as the country's forms of business-friendly coalition government sparking a wave of investment and optimism that hasn't been seen in years. Now, Africa's most industrialized economy might finally be getting back on track after more than a decade of struggles. Just days after this new coalition formed in July, major companies began reversing decisions that had previously pointed to economic trouble. For instance, ArcelorMittal South Africa decided to keep two steel plants open, preserving 80,000 jobs. Shortly after, Qatar Airways bought a stake in South African airline SA Link. Toyota, which had previously considered leaving the country, saw the opening of a new 1.1 billion auto parts facility. An Anglo-American announced a 625 million iron ore investment. Globus Vesta, CEO of Acela Metal South Africa, expressed optimism, saying, This has been a difficult 10 to 15 years, but there's a much more positive outlook now. Since the 2008 financial crisis, South Africa has faced rampant corruption, unstable lawmaking, and poor relations between business and government, which all deterred investors. The African National Congress, or ANC, even lost its majority for the first time since the end of apartheid in 1994, largely due to these economic difficulties. Economic growth has been slow, averaging less than 1% over the past decade, falling behind the pace of population growth. However, with the new government in place and with key changes like the end of load shedding and the allowance for private investment in key industries, there is hope that the country can now turn the corner. Kumesh, CEO of Investec South Africa, believes the country is in a better position and more economically inclusive, presenting new opportunities for growth. While power cuts have ended for over five months, challenges remain. Rail tonnage is about a third lower than in 2018, limiting exports. Crime continues to be a major issue and prosecutions for political corruption are still lacking. The country also faces the challenges of high government debt, slow economic growth, and a third of the workforce being unemployed. When President Cyril Ramaphosa came into power in 2018, there was excitement among investors, a mood dubbed Ramaphoria. However, progress on economic reforms and addressing corruption was slow, causing stagnation in growth. According to Kulegani Mate, the new CEO of Business Unity South Africa, politicians now feel the pressure to deliver results. The fear of failure is going to be an important essence for us as South Africans. Politicians want to prove they made the right decision. This sentiment is giving the country an opportunity to recover. Financial markets are responding positively to the new government. The rand has strengthened, stock markets have hit record highs, and government bonds are providing attractive returns. However, the economy still needs to show real growth, as noted by AcelorMittal's decision to keep steel plants running, saving 3,500 jobs directly, and securing employment for thousands more in related businesses. The company CEO noted that load shedding, which previously forced the company to cut electricity use up to 60 times a year, has now improved dramatically, only being asked to reduce usage twice this year. Rail services have also become more reliable. Relations between government and businesses have improved, according to Mpumizigalala of Kumba Iron Ore. The company was previously forced to lay off workers due to transport issues with the state rail company. However, now Kumba Oil is planning to triple the amount of high-quality iron ore it produces by 2028. In a recent speech, President Ramaphosa praised the improved cooperation between government and business, saying that it's far too important to fail. While the initial response has been positive, with financial markets reacting well, 
Now is the time for real action. The good relations between government and business must translate into actual progress. Guseni Lamini, chairman of Walmart's local unit and the American Chamber of Commerce in South Africa, believes the country has a big opportunity ahead. We are in a race with other nations to attract and retain investment for our economy, he said. So there you have it. South Africa is at a critical turning point. And while there are still challenges to overcome, the new government coalition and improved relations with the business sector have sparked renewed hope. We've seen major companies step up, investment roll in, and a much needed end to the energy crisis. Now it's about turning this momentum into real long lasting growth for our economy. The road ahead won't be easy, but with the right decisions and commitment from both the public and private sectors, South Africa has the potential to become stronger and more inclusive. Thank you for watching. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest in business, economy, and more right here on VIP Conference. Let's continue the conversations in the comments below. What are your thoughts on South Africa's future? Until next time, keep pushing forward and believing in the power of change.